Thanks for your time, Mr. Ishibu. Well, thank you for having me. So I would like to ask you, uh, it was very interesting combination, um, living, and this is a remake of Akira Kurosawa's 1952's movies, uh, inspired uh, by Lev Tolstoy's novel. Uh, what was the main challenge of this project? Well, it, it was an obsession I've had since I was a young man, you know, since I was kind of a teenager. Yeah. I always wanted to see Kurosawa's movie made into an English movie. Yes. Um, and so I never thought of it as a, as a translation or even like a straight adaptation. I had all these themes to do with England yeah. and about Englishness and really about the world of the English gentleman that existed just before I was born and before I, I, I moved to England. This world has always fascinated me. And then over the years, I've come to be a, a real lover of British cinema. Some of the movies are very bad. <laughs> there are some masterpieces, but particularly of the films made in England just before the Second World War and just after the Second World War. I think there's a almost forgotten uh, treasure trove of movies that the rest of the cinema world doesn't usually see now. And so my ambition was always to, to marry the Kurosawa story with all these things to do with Englishness and English cinema. So that, that was the main challenge for me. Okay, and perfect Bill Nye in the movie. What do you think of his personage? Well, it, the, the movie, as, as myself and Stephen Woody, the producer, yes. conceived it, it wasn't just a version of Ikiru, it was a version of Ikiru with Bill Nye. That was a starting point. Yes. Um, we, we discussed it after we were having dinner with Bill. Um, and I always thought that Bill Nye is very similar to this great Japanese actor from the 1950s, Chishu Ryu, wow. who, who is in all these Ozu films, like Tokyo Story. He plays the father in Tokyo Story and all the late Ozus. I always thought Bill Nye was like an English equivalent, you know. And I, my dream was always that Chishu Ryu had starred in the original Kurosawa film. Um, uh, and so I always had this idea that if we made it in England, we'll make it with Bill Nye, and, and it, it'll be a kind of a very perfect English film. Yes. Um, and so that was our starting point, and we never moved from that when, when we started to go to financiers. And we always said, look, this film has to be with Bill Nye. And I wrote the script around Bill Nye. Let's see if he will win the Oscar because this uh, movie goes to Oscar at this. I hope yeah. so. I, hope so. <laughs> I would like to ask you about the screening of uh, literary works because it's not easy. So, uh, what do you think as a writer? How is this process in, in the cinema? Because um, it's a different process, of course. And. Uh, not all the all the, the questions and cases, all um, adaptations is perfect. No, it's it's difficult. But as, as you must know, a very large percentage of films that have been made through the whole history of cinema yes. have been based on literary works. Um, sometimes they're not well known literary works. I mean, Hitchcock often based his films on you know pulp fiction or something like this, or sometimes more famous novels. I mean. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of westerns or thrillers, film noir are based on pulp fiction. Um, so I think it's as old as cinema. This idea of taking something that's been published as a book and translating into into cinema form. When a book becomes very well known in its own right, I think then there are special problems because um, there's already an audience with expectations, and sometimes I think unrealistic expectations of what the film should be. So my own attitude as an author who, who has for years had uh, options taken out of my books and, and on three occasions movies made from my books, I take the view that um, the film has to be the best film possible. It doesn't matter if it's faithful to the book or not. Yes. You know, um, I always encourage this. And also, if it's an adaptation of one of my own novels, I, I say that I don't want anything to do with the screenplay. You know, I, th I think somebody fresh has to come and look at it, sometimes brutally. But I feel the, the cinema film has to stand on its own feet. Um, I think it's often a false discussion, this, you know, is it faithful to the book, is it not, is it better? I don't think it matters. The only ma question that's important is, is this a good movie? Does it work well? 
And that, that's all that matters, I think. May I ask you um, which is your favorite uh, adaptation? Oh, you mean you... of my own books or, or in general? Whole... Oh, that's that's a very <laughs> that's a very difficult uh, question. I mean, so, some of my, as I say, some some of my favorite movies are based on books, but perhaps not classic books. But you mm. know, for instance, there's John Ford West and The Searchers. Uh, I think is a magnificent film, and I, I know it's based on a novel. Um, uh, and sometimes you know you, you get wonderful um, classic, famous yeah. literary adaptations like Kurosawa's version of Macbeth, you know, Throne mm -hmm. of Blood. I think is a very good example where somebody has actually tried to change the language from Shakespeare's language to cinema language. And and often the trap with trying to adapt somebody as great as Shakespeare is that people are too respectful and they put too much of the language in, and it's no longer cinema. So I think. I think Kurosawa set a good example in saying you have to translate into the language of cinema in Throne of Blood. You know. But um, uh, after this conversation, I, I'm, I'm sure I'll think of many examples, but right now yeah. <laughs> I can't, I can't think of... Um, uh, uh, and what is your new project uh, on your book or uh, a new script? I don't know. Uh, well, I, 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 I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm always writing a new novel. Uh, all my life I'm, a, I'm writing a novel, um, um, but during the pandemic, um, you know, I was working a lot on, on this living film and yes. at the moment, you know, I'm excited about the fact that it's come out. I've come here to the San Sebastian Film Festival, I've just been to the Venice Film Festival. I'm very consumed at the moment thinking about, uh, about this movie, but um, I'm always thinking about my, about my next novel, which, which might be a science fiction kind of thing, but I, I don't know. Thank you so much. Thank you Thanks very much. For your great, time. great pleasure Thank to you. talk to you. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you.